Chapter 1. Growing New Plants Get into Seeds of some plants are given below. Can you identify and write to which plant they belong? A huge variety of plants are seen growing all over the earth. Like all other living things, plants also need to produce more of their own kind to sustain their existence on the planet. The process of producing more of one's own kind is called reproduction. Reproduction in plants takes place in three different ways. Number one, by seeds. Number two, by spores. Number three, by body parts. Reproduction by seeds. Most of the plants originate from seeds. Yet, all seeds do not grow into new plants. Some seeds are not fully grown when they are separated from their parent plants. Some are destroyed by strong winds or heavy rain or are eaten by insects or birds, while there are some which do not get the right soil or enough air, water and sunlight. Such seeds do not grow into new plants. When a seed gets the right amount of air, water, soil and sunlight, it grows into a new plant. Find and answer. Why does a farmer leave space while sowing seeds? Info mine. The seeds which have two cotyledons are called dicot seeds, while the seeds which have only one cotyledon are called monocot seeds. Before understanding how a seed grows into a new plant, let us first understand the structure of seed. Structure of a seed. Seed is covered by an outer protective covering called the seed coat. Its main function is to protect the seed. Inside the seed are the seed leaves, also called cotyledons. Cotyledons store food for the baby plant. Inside the cotyledons is the baby plant, embryo. This baby plant has a tiny shoot called plumule and tiny root called radical. Structure of a seed. Plumule. Radical. Cotyledon. Seed coat. How a seed grows into a new plant. The process of growing a seed into a seedling is called germination. Seeds remain inactive until the conditions are favorable for germination. All seeds need water, oxygen, and proper temperature for germination. A seed goes through a number of stages to develop into a seedling. The seed absorbs water and swells until the coat becomes smooth. The cells of the embryo start dividing and multiplying as they get water, air, sunlight, and nutrients. As a result, the embryo inside the seed grows in size. This results in breaking of the seed coat. The radical starts growing in the downward direction. Then, the plumule begins to grow in the upward direction. The cotyledons provide food to the embryo. Once the leaves are formed, the cotyledons are shed. A new plant grows from the seed. Up for review. Circle the correct option. Most of the plants originate from flowers, seeds, seed coat, cotyledons, store food for the baby plant. The baby plant has a tiny shoot called plumule, radical. The radical, plumule, starts growing in the downward direction. Pull up your sleeves to observe new plants growing from the seeds. Take a few kidney beans or gram seeds. Place them in a bowl within a thin, moist cotton cloth. Keep them on a windowsill where they get air and sunlight. Keep the cloth moist. You will observe that new plants are growing from the seeds.
dispersal of seeds. In order to prevent overcrowding and competition for air, water, sunlight, and nutrients, seeds need to be dispersed away from the parent plant. This process of carrying seeds away from the parent plant is called dispersal of seeds. Seeds are scattered by different natural agents. Some of them are wind. Seeds that are small and light are generally dispersed by the wind. Seeds of cotton and dandelion have hair around them. These hair help in carrying the seeds by the wind. Seeds of some plants such as drumstick and maple have a wing-like structure that helps them in dispersal. Water. Seeds of plants that grow near water are generally dispersed by water. Coconut and lotus are the examples of seeds that are dispersed through water. Spongy and light fruits of lotus float away by water carrying seeds within. The thick fibrous coat of coconut helps it to be carried away by water. Animals Fruits of some plants such as tiger's claw and xanthium have hook-like structures. These hooks stick to the fur of animals or clothes of human beings and carry seeds with them. Some plants have juicy fruits that animals and birds eat. The seeds of these fruits pass through the gut of animals and are released at different places because these seeds cannot be digested. Guava and tomato have such type of seeds. Explosion the fruits of okra, granium, and poppy burst open when they are ripened. The seeds are then scattered to far-off places from the plants. Reproduction by spores. Non-flowering plants like fern, mold, and mushroom do not reproduce by seeds. They reproduce by spores. The spores are small, round, and light seed-like structures. They are dispersed easily in various directions to give rise to new plants. Reproduction by body parts. There are some plants which grow from certain parts such as roots, stems, and leaves of the parent plant. Infomine. The process of growing plants from different parts other than the seeds is called vegetative propagation. Roots. Some roots develop into new plants when kept in moist soil and get sufficient amount of warmth and air. Sweet potato and carrot are the examples of such plants. Pull up your sleeves to observe new plants growing from roots. Put a sweet potato in a glass jar containing water by using toothpicks as shown in the given diagram. You will find that after a few days, New stems and leaves are growing on the sweet potato. Stems. Plants like ginger and potato are grown from their underground stems. These plants have thick and fleshy underground stems because they store food in them. New plants grow from the buds present on them when kept in the moist soil. Some plants are grown from the pieces of their stems known as stem cuttings. Plants like rose, hibiscus, coleus, and sugarcane are the examples of such plants that are grown from stem cuttings. Pull up your sleeves to grow a plant from a stem. Cut a small portion of a money plant stem. Place it in a bottle filled with water. Keep the bottle in the sunlight. You will observe roots developing from the stem within a week. This shows that the money plant has started growing. Leaves. Leaves of some plants bear buds on them. These buds give rise to new plants when they are placed in moist soil. Bryophyllum reproduces by this method. Crops and their cultivation. Plants are the main source of food. Plants which are grown in a large area to provide food and serve other purposes are called Crops. The process of growing crops is known as cultivation. Crops and seasons. Based on the season they are grown in, 
crops of two types, Karif and Rabi. Karif crops. Crops grown from June to September are called Karif crops. They are also called monsoon crops as they are grown during the rainy season. Karif crops include paddy, maize, brinjal, coconut, and groundnut. Rabi crops. Crops grown from October to March are called Rabi crops. They are also called winter crops as they are grown during the winter season. Rabi crops include wheat, gram, cabbage, and oats. Infomine. The words Karif and Rabi come from the Arabic words for autumn and spring, respectively, which are the harvest times for the associated crops. Process of Cultivation There are various steps in agriculture. Preparation of Soil It involves loosening the soil. The process of loosening the soil is called tilling or plowing. Plowing is generally done using bullocks or tractors. Sowing. Healthy and ripe seeds are sown by various methods. Irrigation. Supplying water to crops is called irrigation. This supply of water varies according to the type of soil, crop, and season. Adding manure and fertilizer. Manure or fertilizers are added to the soil to increase its fertility. Manure is obtained from plant and animal wastes, whereas fertilizers are chemicals made in factories. Protecting crops. Crops are protected from pests by spraying chemicals called pesticides. Pesticides kill the pests. Similarly, unwanted plants called weeds which grow alongside crops and compete with them for resources, are destroyed using chemicals called weedicides. Big animals such as goats and cows can be kept away by fencing the fields. Farmers also use scarecrows to scare away birds from the fields. Harvesting. The cutting and gathering of mature crops is called harvesting. Harvesting can be done manually or by using machines called harvesters. Storage. Harvested crops are stored in a safe, moisture-free, well-ventilated and places protected from the pests.